Torrenda Zai and Tasha's submission. This is in an instant with a cool Zeratul loading screen art. And even including with permission. I think I played like three or four maps that Zayantaj has made, and they all have really cool loading screens. The psionic emanations of the nascent Queen of Blades stretched forth across the Caprulu sector. They were sensed by two groups of Protoss, High Executor Tassadar of Iyer and Dark Prelate Zeratul of the Dark Templar, who each ventured to Char to investigate. There, upon the volcanic surface of Char, Kali and Narazim met again for the first time in Millennium. Though initially hostile, the two groups struck an uneasy truce, then an alliance, then... Finally, a close friendship in the face of overwhelming Zerg threat. Seeking a way to defeat their seemingly limitless foes, Tassadar and Zeratul conceived a plan. Tassadar would use his forces to distract Kerrigan and the main Zerg broods, while Zeratul would assassinate one of the Zerg leaders. The two Templar hoped that killing the Cerebit would neutralize the large force of the Zerg and simultaneously strike at the Zerg Overmine that ruled the whole swarm. Though the mission would be perilous, there was much they still did not know about their foe. Tassadar and Zeratul decided it was worth the risk. Is this like when we go and assassinate Zaz, or is this when we go and assassinate player character from episode two of First StarCraft? Perhaps we'll find out. Antaro Doom Tassadar. Antaro Doom Zeratul, are your forces prepared? We are. We shall move swiftly through the shadows and destroy this cerebrate creature controlled, controlling the nearby Zerg before the rest of the swarm can react. I will strike it down myself and attempt to take it from its thoughts. Take from its thoughts what the Zerg Overmind intends. Isn't this... Is, doesn't this happen in the Queen of Blades book? Very well. My forces and I shall see to it that the new Queen of Blades and her brood are focused solely upon us. They shall not trouble your assault. I have learned much from your people here, friend Zeratul. We call you heretics, yet now you risk all for us. For that, and far more, you have my thanks. May a dune guide your blades. Skippable cutscene, I noticed, by the way, in the bottom right. You'll love to see it. I have no need for thanks, friend Tassadar. I have learned much from you as well. Though we have long been divided, perhaps the time has come for us to remember once more that we have always been a single people. May Adun watch over you in your turn. In turn. <laughs> Zeratul. If it is my fate to fall this day, seek out the Templar Artanis. He will listen to you. Whatever happens, he will. we must be united to face this threat and protect our people from the destruction I sense upon the distant horizon. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I shall, Tassadar. Yet now is not the time for fear of the future, for battle awaits us. Ziravek Cryor. Is it the Corsair says that? Okay. Zeratul's got his stuff. Centurions with Shadow Charge. Stalkers. Does not require an assimilator, but must be close to a nexus. Huh, okay. My oh, we've got the void we got the void seeker too. Shift to Nexus. What? Okay, it can't attack. I seek the path of salvation. I Okay. All right. I think I, I think I have a general understanding. We have to move forward and turn this thing into a nexus, and then we can build some more stuff and just sort of creep forward across the map again. This is my vague understanding of what's happening here. I bring my burdens Um, I don't think I have enough anti-air for that. So this is technically not flying. It's it's hovering, but not flying. Your have engaged the enemy. We need to find some sort of resources. Can he attack? No, he can't attack air. My state thy bidding. Give 
give us your command. I am the voice of the Eclipse. Okay, fine. I seek the path. We are one with the, the normal overlords do see through. I bring wisdom in time. Cloak or something. Try to destroy bases early. Okay. You address me? That's that's new Jay Barino trying to be early aggressive. I bring wisdom so you you got me on that one. I'll do that. This just seems like the I first section of the map. This is not the whole salvation. map. The this is like a find your first base part of the map, and I assume it's going to expand pretty aggressively. I seek the path of some. You address me? En Arudin, Why don't we just draw some of these to us? Oh yeah, Garmbrood. Uh, they're not orange? Zero stars. Not lore accurate. I should probably wait for this. It's a long cooldown, though. Just kidding. We're just gonna go. There we go. Ah! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> God. That's so much My stuff. I seek the path of salvation. I will fulfill. You address me. I bring wisdom in times of chaos. I shall find. Maybe I'm supposed to avoid this. I, I'm honestly not sure. Also, the void armor doesn't apply to himself. My burdens weigh. We must not hesitate. We are one. Shozak Makno. Then I seek the path of salvation. Or does it? I bring wisdom in times of chaos. Just the fact that they all popped out together, like on top of one one another, was some some real BS, you know. I bring wisdom in time of Okay, I've abandoned any pretense of trying to save these My units. Is yours. Okay, good. Go ahead and, and clean them out. Let's move this down. It blocks damage like immortal shields. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's a decent nerf because it doesn't function also like a heal in that case. That's a, that's sad. Good. With the Zerg removed, we can move our Nomad to this location and establish a nexus. You dare set foot on Char and tech my brood? We will slaughter you and bring your essence to the Overmind. I think not, Abomination. Your time runs short. Soon you shall know the fury of the Nerezim. You address me? Okay. Apparently I can put this as close to the minerals as I want. Oracle perceiving. I can't actually use the extract Vespian gas here, it looks like. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. 
Wait. Oh. 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 All right. So it automatically does that. Again, admittedly, it's, it, you know, it's different. I think I'm understanding it. Just right click on the it, is is that working? Yeah, so you just right click on the geyser and it works. And I can make multiples of these. It's just very expensive. Let's get another one of these. That's nice. My birth. I'm, I'm very intrigued. This is certainly different. It's only two can do this at once. Let's get one new one just to keep following us. Yeah, and it extracts these resources very quickly. I'm An Aerodine wash ago. All right. Our fate shall one. Dude, it act it, it just attacks. It is destined. That's very rare. I seek the path of salvation. I walk the shadowed path. Get a crucible. Get more gateways. Just keep making centurions. I burden. I seek the path of I bring wisdom in times of chaos. Honor commands. Lurkers, we need detection, which I have. Do I? We interpret. No, I don't actually have that. I bring I walk the shadow. They're coming in with all their detection. Crucible's coming in, so now I can make stalkers and make a stargate. Get some upgrades. I, am here in the I really like this scouting ability. The river site is really strong. I seek the path. My burdens wait. Shall I bring wisdom? I seek the path of salvation. I am here in the But I need to wait until I can build some sort of detection. So let's get a robo facility out as well. A shadow council so that we can get DTs. La it's very expensive for uh, oracles. You could just go like mass void ray because that's always really strong. I prefer not to do that though. Bouncing attack that slows enemies. Yeah, we can get a couple of those. Zeratul must survive. We probably shouldn't be using him to be honest. You address me. But we can use him to snipe this garbage. And then I have to wait until I can get an observer before we go really anywhere. River sight me? Oh yeah, this is where we're going next. We just have to be able to kill that one I bring wisdom. My bird. Oh, no. Oh, it teleports. Interesting. I okay. Seek the path of salvation. You address me. I seek the path. I bring wisdom. Shazakma. 
I probably should not be bringing Zeratul for this stuff, you know? These really cheeky lurkers are <laughs> no good. Okay. Alright. Cleared that out. The oracles seem very, very good. Nullivire? Can use null shield. For yeah, sure. Get one. Let's just see. This is my this is my downfall. Is I, I I'm like oh we gotta try a little bit of everything, but like do you Jay Burrito? <laughs> I shouldn't. River sight me. Here comes red. I think getting plus three attack early here would be really, really helpful. So the sooner we can do that, the better. I walk the shadowed. Robo Bay allows me to get Annihilators. Very expensive on gas. Signifier and Dark Templar. Can you Shadow Fury? All right, that's what we're looking for. I bring wisdom in times of chaos. You all know how that goes. Being able to... This is a really, really interesting tech tree, for sure. Very, very intriguing to me. You address me? I bring wisdom. Because it's, it's, it's similar enough that it's not confusing. really want to make any of those. I, uh, can I just not make more oracles? What do I need to make more oracles? Maybe I just can't do it. Because I have every building. Let's, I mean, it, it couldn't hurt to have two of these. I don't think it could... It, it really can't hurt to have two of these. But we do have to wait for the creep to recede. Yeah, that's fine. That's acceptable. And signifier, why don't you check over here? That's what we're looking for. Shozak Maknol. My burdens weigh heavily. I will fulfill my Oh look at the tiny mutalisk, it's so cute! I bring Did you all see that? That's the smallest mutalisk I've ever seen in my whole life. Dude, you know what time it is. Now what we can do is build two probes to come up here here, and then let's have this other probe basically just follow us around for now. Our pylon is under attack. I shall find Prismatic core online. I seek the path. Why are they so tiny? No, don't die, Oracle, because apparently we can't make any more. You address me. I guess it needs to be in range of the of the mobile nexus. Glory to the day Again, just to guess. Upgrade complete. My yeah, I won't be using Zeratul as aggressively as I am now. Or I don't plan to, at least. But as the battles get larger and larger, yeah, we want to be a little more, a little more careful. Chaos. 
I don't really have access to normal photon I cannons, so we just I need to build stuff to and... Oh yeah, we, we built these things. Null shields. That's its guardian shell, but you can... Shield, but you can cast it anywhere you want. I do have the sneaking... Can I not harvest from... There they go, okay. Truthfully, lots of zealots probably good enough. Pretty aggressive. Oh, do they they morph lurkers directly? I will say there's there's too much static defense spam in general across this map. There's just I mean, I don't have to reload, but I don't see a reason to keep trying um like to rebuild there. Let's just keep what we had and then add to it. I think there's way too much static defense spam. Like every little corner has the double has the double colonies plus like two or three lurkers, and then they rebuild the lurkers very quickly. I think that can probably stand to be toned down because it's a little little silly the threads of fate lie bare the observers can move they're just very slow we can also teleport them which is nice We definitely stand to run out of resources here kind of soon, if we're not careful. What the heck? It's listed as a reaver. Why would you do this? We're going to run out of enough gas to build enough anti-air, I think. It's probably going to be our main issue here over time, but we'll see. Our pylon is under attack. I guess we'll build more annihilators. And then we'll throw in some extra void rays. My blades meet oh my enemy. god. Is there like a sneaky enemy base? Somewhere, or I think that was just pre placed. Okay, well, we know we can go down there if necessary. Let's get back up here. Don't worry about that. Now let's save. Interesting. Very interesting. You gotta focus this down. They, the the rate at which they build crap is too is too much. You have to we have to be able to stop them. No 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 no. Stop, stop. Don't go into the static spam. This is something, all right. It's it's something.
That's still getting sucked up, but not for that much longer. I like the economy quite a bit here, by the way. You address me. I am here in shadow. Truthfully, I think I, I just think that the lurkers. Just too many lurkers. That's really the only thing that I'm struggling with a lot. So red is the one that spawns the the broodlings. Or the I don't know if it's broodlings or not per se, but Stop. Then do this. We can just steadily stack up more and more void rays to add to this group, then steadily, again, slowly but surely, we'll get there. Also, I don't have normal cannons. I only have... I only have monoliths. Not very good against these large Zerg attacks. Only good against single target stuff. and then just stay away. It only takes a... There are just, like, so many lurkers everywhere. Like, a couple near the front is fine, but, like, there's too many lurkers. Kind of hidden. I guess I need another observer because the blink is on a really long cooldown. Really restricts your ability to see. You, I mean, you'd think it's really good because it's because they can teleport anywhere, but it's on a pretty long cooldown, so you need multiples. On up. I bring wisdom. I okay, that's one base down. I could build up enough void race to go and kill My Pink. What? See why? Why is this here? <laughs> I understand it's probably anti-cheese, but you just don't need to do that. If the player wants to cheese, they're gonna they're gonna be able to do it, right? If I wanted to make twelve void rays, I can kill a couple score crawlers. I would say just just don't just don't do that. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Glory to the day. Red. I bring wisdom. I seek the path of salvation. Then you come down here. Let our enemy know our fury. Gotta wait for the creep to recede. Your probes 
are under attack. I don't have enough gas. I don't have enough gas to do anything. Garm Brood North. Uh, is there anything I can do? Can I can I harvest from the guy? I don't think I can harvest from the geysers yet either. Make just make a ton of initiates so that they can die to lurkers. I'm really looking forward to it. I bring wisdom in time. You address me. The creep is it is receding. Okay. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh my god. It's just 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 please. Please. Just flipping. I seek the path of salvation. We must that's not base is under attack. You address me. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Did they kill it? They did. These initiates are really bad. Like, ex exceptionally bad. You don't think they are, but they're... Because you think, oh, they're like zealots, but they seem very, very bad. I think they're just normal zealots, but I can't tell. It just—it seems like the enemy like blasts through them much faster. Okay, we really need this gas. I can't quite get to that. Red is worse than yellow. Than yellow, we kind of have to poke into red. I could try to make static defense. I'm really behind on economy right now, though. I bring wisdom. Base is under attack. I think they're only going to attack down here, so we might as well... Just do this. Maybe we can kill those mutalisks that come in. See, we don't have a cheap static defense option. That 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 hurts. And we're really lacking anti-air, which is we're gonna struggle against yellow a lot. Okay, that's at least harvesting. I don't know if that that would pay for itself if we took it out. It's tempting to make void rays Like only void rays at this point Number one because it's the victory fleet Which is always good But then number two we can use it to kill pink Oh you can disassemble stuff that's intriguing. Getting two nexuses for resources also would be really helpful. You have not enough minerals. Okay. We're relatively close for this. So pink actually still came over here. They left this alone. That's pretty big. A thousand. Man, I can't believe I lost one of those. It's really frustrating for me. You have not enough minerals. 
That's fine, let's just victory fleet it. I'm not even gonna build another Stargate. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but we should probably just... Yeah, see a lot of gas here, that's really helpful. Uh, I can build a warp prison. Just getting rid of ping simply to take that pressure off of us. And then yellow we can kind of go around to kill as well. Hopefully this, this might work. It should, I think it should work. And also we can heal our units out of combat in range of our pylons. So you only need a small group, dive in, kill it, duck out. We could probably do the same with the yellow as well. But we have to snipe their production because they, they can get so many larvae out of one production structure and they can pretty much non-stop make stuff. You don't necessarily have to kill yellow. Just kill the cerebrit. I assume he's way back there. Yeah, it's just taking, but it's taking the pressure off of us. We don't have to kill Pink either. But they both have irritating air attacks that I'd like to get rid of, you know? Let's go ahead and build a warp prism now in advance. I think we have enough to push back the, the incoming red attacks as well. I think so. They haven't attacked us for a long time, surprisingly. I, I hate it. I hate it. Instant kills our zealots, nearly. Two banelings. It hurts. This is why we just make... I think we're just going to make air units. Do some air cheese. You'll love to see it. That was yellow, which means pink is soon. We are going to need some more anti-air. Yeah, I think anti-air is really the where you can start to struggle on this map pretty, pretty hard if you're not particularly careful. You got to be very careful. Maximizes the armor of Protoss units. Is that normally the tooltip? I like the, I like the sound of that. Okay, this is probably good enough to kill Pink. And they just attacked me, which means they shouldn't have that much sitting in their base. They'll start to rebuild it now, but... I don't know if they're restricted by supply, either. Dude, who doesn't love some good max mass voids, you know? Uh-oh. I think it happened. No! Well, um, what I can do is, uh, is at least reload a save. Goodbye. Goodbye, game. Uh, okay, let me relaunch the map and see if it, uh, Gives me at least a few more minutes before it poops itself. Uh, so tip to anyone who wants to play this themselves. Just make two Stargates and make exclusively Void Rays. You will save yourself so much of a hassle. I'm not one who makes victory air fleets that frequently, but this is the second time we're doing it today. Because at a certain point, when you have a, you know, depending on what the map is, you know, a lot of maps reward you for doing a more conventional but fast build play with, like, stuff on the ground. But this one, with the amount of banelings and just the insane amount of banelings and lurkers and guardians, just make air from the get-go and save yourself the hassle. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, giving ladder advice, that's right. It's coming back up now. I'll try to load from wherever my last save was, which 
I don't actually remember where it was, but uh, hopefully it wasn't too far back. It shouldn't be that far. Honestly, depending on how far back it was, that just lets me start making Void Rays earlier, right? He did warn about it. Oh, I don't I don't care. If it crashes, it crashes. Again, it's just we only have a certain amount of time we're going to spend on the map, then we're going to move on in any case. I disagree about the Void Rays against Mutas. They actually seemed quite good against Mutas here. Three twenty. Oh, that was only four minutes ago. So I don't think we were that far back. Let's see. I must have quick saved recently. That's 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 muscle memory. Oh yeah, this is fine. The question is, if it freezes again, we're just, we're stuck. We're screwed. Okay, you come on over here, we're gonna have to pick up a probe. Or two. Yeah, see, I mean, you have enough, if you have enough voids, the mutalisks are not gonna be a problem here. This vessel shall Wow. Holy shit! 57 damage? Oh my god. An another reason why it's like, don't even bother with ground on this map. Save yourself the anguish. Yeah, those mutilists get roasted. What's up, Rift? Well, prisms are very different. All right. It's a bummer. That's a bummer. Maybe it has to do with this pink base, and we just don't attack pink. And maybe we can get up there and snipe the one. Do we need to use Zeratul to kill the Cerebrate, or can I snipe it with with rays? Because I'll I'll reload it one more time maximum, and then and then we're, we'll go to the next submission because this is unfortunately untenable. I'll just assume that when you attack pink, it kicks off some defense trigger that you have in there, and they get really upset. And they try to build something, and it screws something up, and it crashes. I don't know. That's it. That it must be related because it, it involves me getting close to pink both times. I will load it again one more time. Anybody can kill Zaz. Okay, it's time to go around the map and do the cheese that I said that you don't need the defense for because I'm about to do it anyway, regardless of how many things you put in the way. Truly, the ultimate defense is right. In any case, I mean, to be realistic, though, I think we've seen what the map has to offer, at least. I like this tech tree. It's familiar enough, but it has some pretty wild changes. Like, it's there's nothing where... It's not like literally everything is different. So there's some familiarity. But at the same time, when you find... Like, the way that you harvest resources and stuff is very different, but also really cool. So I like the differences in the economy, and I like some of the little differences here and there. I do think, again, there's too much particularly strong anti-ground defenses everywhere. And I think there's too many colonies or, or crawlers spammed everywhere. Um, but otherwise, uh, I really like the feel of the map. I like how it kind of fits into this Zaz assassination and, and that kind of stuff. So really good work on that. And the, uh, just the general feeling of this Nerezim faction is really well done. So let's go and kill yellow. Then we'll go and kill pink. Not kill pink, but you know what I mean. You have not enough minerals. But we won't attack pink directly because that seemingly maybe kicks off some sort of endless loop that causes them to be extremely upset. 
57 damage. Whew. You address me. No, no, don't, 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 though. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't go over there. So let's go over to this base. I have no idea where Zaz is, nor do I think that attacking into this base will necessarily work without many more Void Rays, so we can wait at least just a little bit. Now I can rebuild Oracles. At, a, at some point, I, I wasn't able to build Oracles. I'm not sure what's changed. Prismatic core. Let's get another Stargate. Pink is cursed. It has to do with some something something related to looped defenses. Something like that. Upgrade complete. Where are you, you little asshole? Annihilation commencing. You must construct additional pylons. You have not enough minerals. Top, top right. All right. I see. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to do was just get one more. Um, Get one more oracle so that I could I, I could give myself river sight and actually see where he is directly. You must construct additional pylons. It, it's probably it's probably not enough realistically, but we can certainly try. If they don't have scourge, we might be able to get away with it. It's just part of the, it's just sort of the name of the game, though, in terms of StarCraft, a lot of real-time strategy. Air is very powerful, and you can abuse it in many ways. That's just sort of how it is, you know? Okay, so River Sight me. Well, let's, I guess, wait. We'll River Sight right up there to see what pathway we're going to take and how many Spore Crawlers we're going to have to kill along the way. No Scourge, gotcha. Extrapolating strings. Crystals so the way I, I describe it is sort of think about what the players are incentivized to do based on what is on the map, right? If, you, if you're particularly strong with anti-ground, with that, like, lurker spread out, it becomes mildly irritating, and because there's a gas shortage, not now, but it, earlier there was a gas shortage, you're going to spam Zealots or Initiates, and those get torn up by the Lurkers. So at that point, you say, okay, I'll just Turtle, and I'll make air, and it's going to be fine. And that's what we did. Um, and, then, uh, and then separately... Um, oh, they have triple Blink, by the way. Uh, a, a separate thing that they're gonna that they'll do is they'll notice okay there's you know we're discouraged from cheesing by this but at the same time is it really gonna stop me and I will show you that it won't like any player who's played these enough knows like that's not actually gonna stop the player I seek the path you'd like to hope it would but it's not going to So that's why I said earlier, like, you might as well just not even bother with it, because it's not gonna, it's not actually gonna stop anybody from trying it. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a tricky situation, honestly, because the more I think about it, then I think, okay, well, if you remove all the spore crawlers, then the player will still just make mass air and cheese. So I'm not super sure what the best... the best solution is. Remove Void Rays completely, maybe. <laughs> I 
Honestly, putting Hydralisks up on those high grounds would be would be scarier. The enemy has discovered us. Our pylon is under attack. Got him. Cheese defense is pointless. I wouldn't say it's like super pointless. Like that's it's a strong term, but in a way, yes, right? Because I just showed that at a certain point, the player's just gonna say "fuck it," and you make void rays. You're gonna win regardless of what's there. Do you truly believe you could slay a cerebrit? Perhaps, but you won't live to see it. Could even like re yeah remove the ability to even make void rays. I guess you could technically snipe with oracles. It'd be a lot harder though. I think. Just some interesting insight. Again, I don't think I've ever seen cheese defense work without going way overboard. Like I look back to annihilation. Like dude, keys annihilation. Hey, good use of the the OG voice lines. Um. Where he made it so that the enemy, the enemies got like a 50% buff, attack speed buff when it was when they were in their base, right? And I think he's recently removed that from the latest version. But the whole idea was like, hey, I don't want you interacting with the enemy base, so I'm gonna like make them insanely strong so that you can't kill them, right? It, it's a similar idea. It's trying to accomplish the similar goal as like, hey, I'm gonna just put some anti-air colonies around so that they can't fly around with air units and snipe it. The unfortunate truth is that's just always been a piece to the genre that I think is very difficult to get around. So be beyond nerfing Void Ray anti-ground damage or something, I just don't know if there's really a great way to stop that, which sucks. I know it's not like the right answer. I don't have, uh, the point is I don't have the right answer, but I am acknowledging that it is a problem for content creators, for, for map creators. It's just very, very hard. If a player is determined to do that, they're probably going to be able to. I think th the difference is, and I've talked about this in the past when I talk about, like, victory fleets. Um, if, the pl if a player can afford to stay alive long enough and economically afford to make a victory fleet, they probably could have afforded to win any other way. That's one aspect to it. Whereas I would take this map as an example of the, not the opposite, but of a different of a different idea, which is I could have probably spent as much money as I did on that Void Ray fleet on a ground force, and that ground force would not have made it anywhere close to the objective. So I think you kind of have to balance it, where you say, if the player spent X amount of minerals, Vespine, and time into mass void rays, would they have been able to accomplish the same thing if they used that money and gas and whatever on a different force? And if it's reasonably close, I think that functions as anti-cheese, in the sense that you, the creator, can feel comfortable to know that if someone bothered to cheese it, they didn't really get around any of the systems of the map because they still had to spend the same amount of money that they would have and the same amount of time. Maybe that's the way... Yeah, the almighty air pathing blocker is true. So maybe that's the answer? Because then it's like, okay, hey, he sniped Eldaris with mass scouts, but he could have done it using anything else if he would have spent that money on something else. Whereas, again, in this case, it was imbalanced, where if I would have spent that same money on a ground force, I don't think I would have been able to win. Um... Though, again, that's just a thought. Yeah, I think that's I think that's my thoughts exactly, Zai. Now, I don't know if that's the answer that a map maker would want to hear, because what that kind of results in is me saying, you know, make it easier or make the anti-ground defenses less so. But, again, the problem still exists where, you, where you know, hopefully I've, I've highlighted to say, well, if you make it that way, if you make it kind of sloggy, then I'm just going to make whatever is the easiest to go around that slog, and there's no way you can stop me. There's nothing you can do to stop me without, like, an air blocker or something that's way overboard. So, it's tough. It's a very, very difficult to balance difficulty around, and I acknowledge that that's, that's, it's not something that's simple. So, for me to point out that I see it as, like, a problem on this map is not really your fault, I think, in the sense that it's it's like a pitfall that's completely normal. Like, even Blizzard has done it, where, like, on Supernova and Wings of Liberty, they put a couple cannons behind so that you can't go around the map with Banshees and win right at the beginning, 
which if you're a speedrunner, I'm sure you could make a couple extras and figure out how to do it exactly and find just the right spot, right? So it doesn't stop someone who's determined to really do it. But it does stop someone from who's just sort of curious and exploring to nullify the mission straight away. At that point, is it even cheese? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my point. That's why I think it's, it's a semi-solution. Because the player thinks that they're cheesing it, and that allows the player to feel rewarded and think that they're smart, when in reality, they could have put in the same effort to beat it any other way. So it's technically not cheese, but you kind of think it is, because anytime you build up a fleet of one unit and right-click an objective, you think it's, you know, you're bypassing the challenge of the map or something. But when in reality... The map was tailored in a way such that it's not, you know, they could have built, you know, stalkers, stalker initiates with some spellcasters and busted through. And maybe I could have. I think the effort level of, like, the microing of ground units to stop them from running into clumping up and running into lurkers and stuff, and then obviously all my initiates getting killed by banelings, etc., etc., there is almost just no question that, of course, I'm going to make only air. <laughs> You can prevent the victory fleet via making the AI aggressive. I agree, and this is something we've seen some Brood War... This is very popular in Brood War now, which is start the player with less, make the AI way more aggressive, such that you can't just casually sit around, static defense isn't enough, you have to make an army and get out there and start taking out enemy bases, else they will overwhelm you. So it's kind of a soft timer in that way. Uh, is this a, a, a solution that I think is good for every map and project? No, I don't think so. In fact, I think that some folks in the Brood War sphere take this to a level that's too, almost like in a ridiculous level. Anyway, I'm still recording locally, so I should probably stop this.